Welcome. The purpose of this presentation is to show you how bone forms. Calcium is just the last stage of bone formation. The first stage begins in the cell when the cells make little tiny building blocks that become collagen. But the majority of bone formation occurs outside the cell. The silical system provides nutrients for all the stages of bone formation and not just the final stage. In order to understand how these nutrients work together, let's talk about bone formation. Vitamin C is needed for collagen formation. That's a given. If you don't have vitamin C, you get scurvy and your ligaments fall apart and your teeth fall out. Now, silicon increases collagen formation and improves the cross links of collagen and it strengthens the collagen to help form mature collagen. It gets itself embedded in the immature bone. Mature collagen needs calcium and magnesium to make it hard instead of remaining flexible like collagen in nails, hair, and skin. This requires osteocalcin, and osteocalcin is a protein that binds the calcium to the collagen. Production of, of osteocalcin is stimulated by vitamin D. But vitamin K2 carboxylates the osteocalcin and makes those bonds stronger. Well, how is the calcium then attracted to the collagen? That's where silicon comes in. Bone has electrical properties, and it's been shown that if you compress bone, there are something called strain-generated potentials in bone that originate from piezoelectric properties in the collagen matrix. So when you compress the collagen, it generates a negative electrical charge on the side where the pressure is and a positive charge on the other side and bone builds up on the side of the negative charge. Well, interestingly enough, silicon is a semiconductor with piezo-resistive properties, and that's why silicon is used for solar panels and computer circuit boards and pressure transducers, because it gives off a negative electrical charge when pressure is applied. And exercise causes pressure in bone and that also stimulates negative piezoelectrical charges, and those charges may be amplified by silicon in the collagen, and that's how silicon helps attract calcium to the collagen. Now, after the calcium binds to the collagen, then the silicon is not needed. In the mature bone, calcium is bound tightly to collagen, and the silicon has disappeared. This may be why silicon has evaded osteoporosis researchers for so long. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and I hope it helps you understand why you need more than calcium and vitamin D for healthy bone. The ingredients in the silical system are designed to support all phases of bone formation and bone maintenance. Thank you.